So good morning guys, my name is Arjun Sharma and this is my YouTube project. My project is actually about liquid crystals. Liquid crystals is a branch of soft matter with properties between those of conventional liquids and solids. They're generally organic molecules, however they can be used in a variety of applications as a combination of organic and inorganic molecules. They're actually widely used in LCD displays, particularly in electronics, such as iPhone watches, calculators, and your TV screens. So I have here a few examples. This is an example of a digital watch. It's a basic watch with a simple LCD display. Um, I'm gonna talk about how it works in a little bit, little bit later. On the other hand, we have sophisticated liquid crystals display such as the iPad and if you can see uh, it consists of a complicated highly complicated liquid uh, crystal display with a combination of colors and a variety of contrast so let's start Li liquid crystals were first observed when scientists were studying derivatives of cholesterol such as cholesterol benzoid Again, liquid crystals can be organic molecules, however, in electronics, they're generally used as a combination, used in combination with other inorganic molecules to give a variety of properties. Liquid crystals have two basic phases, pneumatic phases and chiral phases. Um, pneumatic phases consists of molecules which self-align to have a long range directional order with their axis parallel. Chiral phases, on the other hand, have a sort of a twisting uh, arrangement. Now, the important applications of liquid crystals, which makes it applicable in uh, uh, electronic display, are that these two phases can be in interchanged by applying an electric voltage. So let's see how that works. Let's study po polarization first. So what polarization is, is certain materials known as polarizers, um, when we are known as polarizers, and when we pass unpolarized light through them, they uh, uh, allow light to travel only in a single plane. So in this case, for example, um, unpolarized light when passed through a horizontal uh, filter or a polarizer becomes a plane polarized light in the horizontal direction. Similarly, in the vertical direction, we have vertical polarization. However, when I actually combine the two polarizers, there is no light on the other end when I pass unpolarized light because both horizontal and vertical components of unpolarized light have been filtered out, including the other uh, uh, polarization planes, and hence we get no light at the other end. So now let's get started on how a liquid crystal display works. Now a basic liquid crystal display uh, such as uh, this calculator over here, uh, which I just dissected, consists of um, two polarizers, one in the horizontal direction and other on the vertical direction. It consists of two electrodes attached to the polarizers and a voltage source. Now, um, the middle of this arrangement consists of a liquid crystal. Uh, there may be many kinds of liquid crystals used. Uh, they may be used in conjunction with organic or inorganic molecules. At the back of the screen, we have a certain reflector. So if you can see over here in this calculator, I have, um, let's see at the back, I have electrodes coming in which supply the voltage or the current. And if I exclusively examine the screen of this calculator, I can see a liquid crystal arrangement in between so if you can see over here all right so now when there's there's no voltage applied uh, between the electrodes the uh, molecules are actually in a chiral or twisted arrangement and when light actually is passed through the back of the reflector light can actually twist its way through and become uh, parallel to the filter over here and thus can pass through the screen uh, giving a clear appearance like this. Over here, you can see a clear reflected light. Uh, on the other hand, if I have a voltage which is on, such as in this case, 
the, the uh, liquid crystals actually arrange in a finite uh, regular parallel arrangement and as a result the the they become aligned with the polarization uh, polarization direction of this first polarizer and now since both polarizers are exactly in a perpendicular direction light is actually blocked by these uh, certain patterns so if you can see over here the digits on on these uh, on this calculator um, the digits are act act actually what we see are the light which is actually blocked by um, the reflector so as a result we can see a 5 over here which is actually light blocked by uh, by the uh, ref uh, by the liquid crystals now let's see a very interesting example of uh, li a special type of uh, liquid crystals which are known as thermochromatic liquid crystals so I have with me a mood ring now this was pretty fashionable during the 70s uh, people would um, put them on their finger and the liquid crystals here would uh, actually respond to a temperature change on the finger and uh, as the color would change um, people would sort of get an indication of their mood which was hi highly uh, artificially uh, designed Th there was actually no reason to believe uh, that your mood could be uh, decided on the basis of this ring but as you can see uh, the liquid crystals here right now at normal human skin temperature are a shade of greenish blue and sort of purple right now let's see what happens when I put it in a freezing cold ice bath so I have an ice bath over here and now let's see what happens when I place this in the ice so if you can see the color is gradually changing it's becoming darker now it's becoming more darker and now it's completely black it's very dark on the other extreme let's see what happens when I place this in this this is boiling water very close to boiling water so I'm just gonna drop it because it's very hot and I'm just gonna leave it for a few seconds and now it's become a bluish color a little bit different from what from the original color let's place it again in the ice bath and it changes color again so guys i hope you enjoyed the, the video see you next time bye